This YouTuber earns four and a half million dollars a year and this YouTuber earns 97 million dollars a year but they're nowhere near the three billion dollars that Coco Melon sold for. Let's find out how they earn all this money in a single year. Their first source of income, which is common for all YouTubers, is ad revenue. This mainly comes from the ads you see throughout the video. From our estimates, if a single view generates one cent in ad revenue, then Coco Melon would earn $25 million per month from ad revenue or $300 million per year. Coco Melon is also well known for their licensing deals for their content. They not only produce content for YouTube but also Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime Video, Roku Channel, Apple TV Plus and Spotify. The most common licensing deal for a TV show would be in the range of 300 to 500 million dollars per year. Meaning that across all five different platforms, Coco Melon would earn an average of $400 million per platform with a total $2 billion a year. However, Spotify works a little bit differently. On the fact that they pay their artists per stream from a user, this can range from 0.0033 cents to 0.0054 cents. With Coco Melon's loyal fan base of 2.5 million regular listeners, with an average paid per stream of 0.0043 cents and an average of 1.3 million daily listeners, Coco Melon would earn $2 million per year. This leaves around $698 million that would most likely be attainable but not guaranteed to come from Coco Melon's wide range of clothing, toys, music and books that are sold across various retailers such as Target, Walmart and Amazon. For retail sales, this may be an underestimate as retail sales are typically the largest source of income for most content creators originating from the platform YouTube. And just remember, this still does not include YouTube Red revenue which is sourced from monthly paying viewers who allow the creator to get paid through the amount of time they watch their creator's content, not through ads. But this data is unattainable, most likely breaking the $3 billion price tag of Coco Melon's yearly income. The official figure of $3 billion is not a guess or an estimate, but in fact, the amount of money the company Moonbug Entertainment, who bought Coco Melon from the founder Jay Gion, sold to two ex Disney executives. Jay Gion, an animator and his wife, who is a storyteller, living in Orange County, California, 17 years later, still works on Coco Melon just under the corporation owned by the Disney executives with their team of 20 people. Just to put in perspective, according to Social Blade, Coco Melon has an average of 2.5 billion views per month while Ryan's World has an average of 225 million views per month. Comparing both channels YouTube ad revenues, Ryan's World would be earning roughly $27 million a year that's $273 million less than Coco Melon. Coco Melon is also 46 places higher than Mr. Beast in terms of entire channel views, which is 164 billion views. They also have 33 different YouTube channels that were not included in the revenue calculation and 234 million total subscribers from all channels. It's just interesting to know that this all started just because Jay Dion's two children loved his ABC storytelling song which is still available and the first video uploaded to the Coco Melon channel. From nursery rhymes to billionaires, they will soon be the wealthiest YouTuber company on earth just behind T-Series but not subscribed as there's a battle for Mr. Beast to win.